Have you ever felt always like if your computer can do boring stuff for you, for example, cleaning a file, organizing folder, or running repetitive task? Well, PowerShell can handle it all. And guess what? It is easier than you think. Hey there, everyone. My name is Pritam, and you're watching Technoholic. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get started with PowerShell, even if you never have used it before. So without further ado, let's dive in. First thing first, let's understand what is PowerShell. And believe me guys, few years ago, I also was very newbie in this, but now with time, I started utilizing it. So you can think of it as your computer personal assistant. It is a tool that help you to control and automate tasks on your system. You can use it to move file, check system health, or even you can schedule tasks while you grab coffee. Okay, so what now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you to my computer screen so that we can quickly get started. And there we go. Now you can see my computer screen. Now the first thing here I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start PowerShell. And starting PowerShell is pretty easy guys. All we need to do here is we need to press menu button and now we need to type PowerShell, okay? Now you can run it as administrator so that you do not need to worry about permission. The magic of PowerShell lies in CMD lets. They are like command that tells your computer what needs to be done. And they all follow this pattern, which is verb hyphen noun. For example, let me type here, get and then hyphen help and let's enter and there we go here seems like we need to update our help and for that we may actually update it so let's write y here because it's going to run this another command for us which is update help so let's press y now here we will see the latest edition of help is getting downloaded which is quite nice And there we go, we have successfully installed it. And now here we can also see other help example, okay? So one such example or command, I'm gonna try here, okay? So let's try this command, which is get hyphen help. And then I'm gonna also write get, okay? And then process. And let's hit enter here. And after entering here, we can see the following output. And let me actually zoom it a bit by pressing control button and scroll wheel. And the synopsis here says that get the process that are running on the local computer or remote computer. This tells you what get process CMD let does. It shows you all the running apps on your computer. Pretty cool, right? So I'm going to type here get and then process. And there we go. Here we can see the list of everything running in your computer right now. And here is one more fun command, which is get and then hyphen. I don't know why it is going down. So let me make it zoom out a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to type it first and then let's see child item. Okay, so this is what I wrote. Uh, get child item. Let's again press enter. This one shows all the file in your current folder. So my current folder was a system 32. Let me go back here and probably I can type clear. Okay. So the folder was system 32. Same folder I can also open here in Windows Explorer. And if I go inside Windows and probably system 32 needs to be here. This one. So whatsoever file were inside this folder, all was being listed by this small command, which is get child item, which is really awesome guys. So again, I cleared this because the amount of data inside this particular folder is too much. So let me actually go outside by typing here CD dot dot. Now, actually I can type CD backslash to go in C prompt. Now, just like what we can do in MS DOS, here also we can create new folder by typing new and then item and then 
uh, we can type hyphen item type and let's say I would like to create a folder here I can say directory okay and then I can also specify the path so for that let me put path flag here so path and then I can define the path location let's say it needs to be in C drive so I'm gonna say C and then I'm gonna type demo as a folder name and inside that I'm gonna create this new folder and let's keep it in quote and now let's hit enter and there we go guys we have created this folder which obviously we can check either by typing dir and then here we can see this folder which is c so i can go inside this c folder and then again dir or this time i can also use the old command which is get child item and then here i can see this folder is being created named c which uh, we can also verify by going here in c drive and then we have created this c folder inside demo and then this is new folder that we just created now let's say you want to copy certain file to certain location for example i'm going to create a new file here and i would like to give it a name a okay so what we can do here in powershell is um i can type another command which is copy and then item and then now i need to uh, put this path flag and then now i can specify the path okay so i need to copy this from um here i guess from this c and then this c folder okay so let me actually copy this uh i'm gonna say c and then this c folder and inside this c folder we can see this is the file so i'm gonna say a.txt let's close the bracket and now i'm gonna put another hyphen here which is destination and then let's say c drive and then i'm gonna say c demo new folder okay and let's close this now let me hit enter again and seems like we did something wrong and probably uh, that was related to this hyphen so now again uh, let me enter the command and this time seems like we have successfully copied it so uh, again let me go manually here and let's verify if this a.txt got copied in demo new folder location and there we go guys here we have successfully copied it now let's talk about how we can remove this file okay so i am just pressing up arrow so that uh, we can basically reach to the location so let's say this is the file that i would like to remove so instead of copy item i can use this command which is remove item and let's hit again enter and this time uh, we should have deleted the file from c directory so let's go back here and see and now this time here you can see there is no file left let's say i also would like to delete from this location so again i'm gonna press up arrow and this time i'm gonna keep this path okay now let's hit enter and again seems like we did some issue okay so i forgot to change this command from copy item to remove item let's hit enter again and seems like here i forgot to mention the file name here which is a dot new text and by default or by mistake uh, i was trying to delete the whole folder so if that not the case you can press n and hit enter again let me go back here and now i'm gonna say backslash a.txt and this time here you can see we have successfully deleted that file so here you see there is no file exist so in this way guys uh you know we have seen how we can create new file copy it and then remove it now i'm gonna talk about some of more advanced command that would be i would say more practical or even helpful in day-to-day -day task and one such command is related to listing a temporary file and again i would say it is pretty easy all we need to do is we need to type get child item and then path hyphen then this is standard path 
so i'm gonna also copy this command in the description of this video you can also directly uh, just copy and paste this command okay and now here after entering this command you will see that uh, our system is preparing to list all temporary file okay and seems like i do not have proper access to it so no worry guys uh, let's skip it but i can actually type the following command uh, which could be very helpful in deleting those temporary files which is a remove item then path i'm gonna show the stem folder path and then i'm gonna say recurse and seems like we may not have proper permission here so in order to make everything possible you can basically run the following script which is set execution policy and then here i'm gonna define the scope of current user and then i'm gonna change the execution policy to unrestricted now in order to accept it i'm gonna press a and then hit enter so this now will give me freedom to you know run any command and now again i'm gonna run this command which is get hyphen child item and then path and still seems like running this command is giving us issue so in order to avoid such thing what we can do here is we can you know add another flag here which is error action and then we're gonna say silently continue and now here we can see it seems like it has started working on it so probably i'm gonna see that the number of temp file in my system and probably we may see that the number of temp file in my system will decrease so right now it shows that 206 file and um, let me refresh it and there we go seems like this command worked perfectly fine because we didn't saw any error while executing this command and there you have it in our next video we will talk about how to create and run script inside powershell that's all guys from my side in this video hope that you find this video helpful and informational if so then please do like and subscribe to technoholic to see more such tutorial related to windows and office productivity and i will catch you soon with one such another video till then you take care and bye bye